Okay, so you now. Know what? I just think we're just getting that. Uh, Joe's gonna come naturally. Like I don't enforce anything. I was trying my best to get him out of there. I knew I was more skilled than him when she didn't do anything to me. I was winning every round, but my whole intention was to get him out of there. This dude's moving, he's holding me every chance he gets. I hit him with some malicious shots. I mean, he was taking some big ones. But, uh, you know, that's what happens. You can't knock everybody out. And it was a, it was a good experience. I went 12 rounds for the first time. Not even a championship fight, but I still went 12 rounds. Did you think you were going to stop him in the second round? I Ryan? did. I did, man. He was hurt. I, you know what? I got to control my eagerness. Uh, I'm still, when I get someone here, I'm bloodthirsty, and I just go for it. I should have just took my time, set him up for a big one, and then I would have got him out there. But that's going to come in time. You know, I'm still young. Uh, and I could have moved my hands a little bit more, and I think I would have got him out there. So if I caught him with that shot, he wanted no more of the smoke. You know what I mean? He was like, I'm going to move around this whole ring. There's no way I'm going to get caught again. And he accomplished what he didn't want to happen, and that's getting knocked out. But he gave me a lot of respect after the fight. He said, I know myself. Nobody's beating you. You know what I mean? I'm crafty. I, I move. And I know what I can do, but you took everything away from me. But, you know, it, it's good. I, I'm happy. I mean, you know me. I, 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 love, I love to give somebody some amazing things. And I did crack him in the 10th round or whatever round it was. That nice right hand right in between his shot. I thought that was going to end it, but it obviously didn't. But it's okay. Uh, 12 rounds. All right, first time going 12. I'm happy with it. Ryan, let's right here. How, how'd your right hand feel? You know, after having surgery, you was landing it. You still look like you had power in there. Yeah, it tweaked it a little bit. Uh, a little bruise or whatever. I ain't gonna do it. Like, it's really nothing. Like, everybody gets bruised hands sometimes. Uh, but, you know, it felt good. I, I actually, I felt like I should have had better timing on it. That's what I felt like was off with the 8 ounce gloves. You know, it's different when you use 14 ounce gloves. With 8 ounce gloves, I felt myself uh, coming up short a lot instead of creeping up on him a little bit better with it. But I think as the next fight goes on, it'll get better. Okay, from Jake. Uh, energy wise, how different would it feel from uh, when you were in Dallas last year? Oh, way different. Uh, I felt a little bit more, you know, gotta get my breath a little bit, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's been a year and a half. Man. It's been a year and a half, and uh, I'm only gonna get better. I mean, there's no way I can get worse, you know what I mean? And I, I was pressing, I was trying to keep my chin down a lot. I was trying to work on the things I've been working on, dig into the body a lot. And, uh, I mean, he, was, he got hurt with a left hook to the liver once. I mean, there was a lot of moments that I was happy with, a lot of moments I wasn't. So. No, no, more, no more call outs, Ryan, but how badly do you want to fight yeah. Tony? I do, man. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Ryan, I'll please read it. Joe's out for help. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, my dog. 10 out of 10. Guys, we're going to head out, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, guys. Okay. Yep. I know. I don't need to get food. I know. I know. I'm like, you need to move. Yeah, I'm good. You I'm need good. to move. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's really good.